Hi guys, it's Jeannie here. Welcome to my channel. So previously I did some decluttering videos where I've been following the Marie Kondo's um, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And so far I've already organized, um, decluttered my clothes as well as accessories like handbags, shoes, jewelry. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to watch that. Um, but I did have a pile of stuff that I wanted to try and sell and make money off. And I have been posting them online, but it's quite slow at the moment and I have a lot of stuff so I thought my girlfriends and I decided to um, organize a market day where we'll just try and sell them at the market so that is what we did today and I recorded it the day so I thought I would take you along with me so you can check that out so let's go morning so it's currently five o'clock in the morning it's so ridiculously early I don't know why markets are open so early especially on a Sunday but I woke up at about just five past four um, and the car has been loaded. I loaded that last night. Um, I just made some breakfast to go. So I made my take on the egg slat kind of uh, with my special sauce. So we've got that ready to go. So we are now off. Just waiting for the car to heat up. The sun's not even out yet. Um, the car is all packed, ready to go. And we're taking Coco with us as well. So let's go. So it's like 7.30 and I've just pretty much made my money on like the market hire place so I'm pretty happy. We'll see how today goes. nine o'clock now time is actually going really slow and we keep getting like a rush of people coming in which is really good um, so far it's so good but yeah we'll see how today goes the sun is now out so it's a great day for the market Packing up time. It's currently 12.30, I think, and it's time to pack up. Um, we've just cleared out. So these are all the stuff we have left, all the clothes and all the accessories. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but we're just clearing up now and it's time to go. So we are packed up, ready to go. It's one o'clock now. So we're just stuck waiting for these cars to get going. Um, so far, I think we did a good job. It still looks like we've still got a pack of stuff left, but I think I did get rid of half of it. So I'm just gonna see how much we made when we get home. So it is three o'clock and we just got home and unpacked everything. It has been definitely a long day. I am so overly fatigued. My mouth is so dry. My little tongue is like dry as. But I'm not really hungry. I think I'm to the point where I feel so nauseous that I just, I don't know whether I need to sleep or to eat. But I just ugh, feel like crap right now. Um, it was, I was kind of worried. I had like two to three hours sleep last night. I don't know why I couldn't sleep. I think I was just really anxious and nervous today. Um, the fact that I knew I had to wake up early also made it worse because I couldn't sleep. Um, when we got there, so I actually organized this market trip with my girlfriends a few months ago. Um, unfortunately, one of her called up, um, couldn't make it because she was sick. So it was only me and my other girlfriend. So Kelly and Coco came along just for a bit of a help and just to bum around as well. Um, so yeah, so there was a little hiccups on the day. So in the morning when we went there, I mistakenly unloaded in the wrong stall. Um, so I had to, had to get Kelly to come back because I had to um, for, go find parking to park my car. So there was a bit of a hiccup, but everything went through surprisingly okay. Like, there was a bit of moments where I was kind of worried because people were coming in, but they weren't 
um, buying anything. They were just browsing and walking out. So I was kind of worried that, you know, I wasn't going to make anything. I was expecting at least to get like 100, 150 back um, or at least cover how much I paid to hire the racks in the store. Um, but surprisingly, overall, though, I made... Uh, this is all the money that I made from today. Um, it is, so overall, I made... $368.50. Um, I did get a couple of weird looking coins, which I should have really checked. But when you're there at the moment, you don't really look, I kind of just trust that, you know, that they're honest. Um, but yeah, so that was how much profit I made after taking out um, how much I paid for everything as well as the change I had in my bag anyway. So I am overly happy with that amount. There were a few moments where I was disappointed because I had a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of good stuff in my opinion, like Sassam Bide, Oratom, Mimco, um, Tony Bianco shoes. Jeffrey Campbell's and like a lot of Adidas stuff and things like that and at one point I was just selling it dirt cheap like five dollars and even three dollars for like tops and stuff like that shoes we ended up selling at the end of the day for five dollars it's just ridiculous like I I personally don't like the whole experience selling stuff I'm not a very good seller like Cam got mad because um he had a crampler crampler that um it's like a um, like a DSLR bag that he was trying to sell for 20 bucks and I ended up selling it for $5. So he was kind of mad, but you know, at the end of the day, the whole point of going to the market is trying to get rid of everything. Um, so that's what he did. And I'm really bad at negotiating and bargaining. So I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to make enough, but now that I've kind of taken everything back and packed it away, um, it does look like I've sold at least half of everything that I've had. Um, but yeah, so we may be, we are thinking about doing another market, um, Ryan, in the foreseen future. Not 100% sure yet because the whole, I don't know if I can be bothered because it's so freaking early. Um, but if not, then I might just donate everything anyway, because the whole point of this KonMari thing is just to kind of get rid of everything. So either that or it'll just slowly creep up and I'll just end up putting it back in my wardrobe. So I guess, you know, it's time to kind of get rid of everything. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to add this in to my decluttering just to show you guys what I did to get rid of my stuff as well and other options. So I did donate about six bags of stuff, um, clothes and stuff to Salvation Army or like donations. There are a few other bags of like scarves, socks, hats that I've left aside because I want to donate that to like a homeless charity where it goes directly to people rather than um, reselling it. So I've got those aside. I just need to find the right charity. Um, let me know if you know one you know, that I can donate to. Um, but yeah, so I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye.